The 16 year old arrested for allegedly shoving a woman down the stairs at a church in Queens is expected to face a judge. Today. All right, Fox 5's Antoine Lewis live at the courthouse in Kew Gardens with the latest on the case. Antoine. Steve, outrage over this attack has reached the very top of the NYPD. Assistant Deputy Operations Commissioner tweeting on social media last night, this violent criminal is where he belongs, in handcuffs. But there now are concerns as to how long that will be the case. Thursday night, just after 9, the NYPD arrested the 16-year-old suspect of this despicable assault and threw him in jail. And not soon enough, says Queen City Councilman Jim Gennaro, as the attack happened in his district. I think it's great work on the part of the police department. The whole community was in shock, <clears throat> and they want to see justice done. Last Sunday morning, 68-year-old Irene Talion Boris was on her way inside St. Demetrios Greek Orthodox Church when the suspect comes up from behind and cowardly attacks her, punching her in the face, causing her to fall backwards down the steps. And as Talion Boris is lying on the sidewalk, surveillance video shows him stealing her purse, which contained her wallet, credit cards, cell phone, and $300 cash. Police say that he also stole her car. Irene Talion Boris mother and grandmother was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries, including a fractured skull. She continues to improve, Irene, uh, and she has two adult kids that help her out, um, and she has a favorable prognosis, but still, it's going to be a long road. District Attorney Melinda Katz's office says the suspect is from Jamaica, Queens, and is also responsible for a similar incident on April 4th, in which a woman was followed from an ATM, robbed, and her car also stolen. This attack has been resoundingly condemned, and for many, the suspect's arrest is causing dual emotions. Relief that he's behind bars, yet anxiety as to whether bail reform laws may not keep him there. A problem Gennaro says Albany could fix by establishing a dangerousness standard, which would allow judges to hold people in jail whom they think would commit crimes if they are released. I would like to see the governor, the Senate Majority Leader, and the State Assembly Speaker watch this video and then explain to us how we don't need a dangerousness standard. That 16 year old's been charged with assault, grand larceny, robbery, possession of stolen property, and menacing. Again, he will be arraigned on those charges sometime later this evening. This is the very latest from Queens. Back inside to you. All right, thanks, Antoine.